Tommy. Tommy. Tommy's been held up. Call the sheriff. Get busy on that phone. I'll get a ship ready. Well, Skeeter. Yeah. Skeeter, that miniature plane. Well? Tommy said it had a smoke attachment. Yeah? Well, it was Whitey's. Well, sure, sure. Quit stalling and get the sheriff well, on the listen, phone. Listen, Skeeter. Whitey called his brother about four hours ago right from this phone. Well, all right. So what? Well, I'm trying to tell you. He said, tell the big shot I'm all set to talk business. What? Tell that to the sheriff. Take it easy and you won't get hurt. Easy, easy. Don't be a sap. You'd be a lot less trouble to us cold. You lied to me. You framed me. And I'm your brother. Lay off. Get wise to yourself. Yes, kid, you've done a fine job. You'd better forget the act. But I didn't have anything to do with this. You gotta believe me, Tommy. You gotta. You gotta. Pipe down, kid. You're it and Squawkin ain't changing it. I'll handle him. Come here. Oh, so you'd plug me, huh? Yeah. I don't care if you are my brother. And that's the best description I can give you of the Lewis brothers. All right. That's all we need. I want all the rules reading on a long metal block. Yeah, but if they can force Tommy to fly him, they'll try to get out of there. I got a ship all ready to take off. That's good. Jim, you fly with Skeeter. Keep in touch with me with your radio. Right. right. You better contact all airports and all planes that you can reach in the air. Give them the description of Tompkins' plane. Three point to Twin Rivers. You dumb fool, why'd you hit him so hard? We could have been miles away from here and flying fast. Okay, forget it. We can't stall around here all day. Now we'll have to use the car. What'll we do with him? Bring him along and we'll dump him somewhere tonight. If we leave him here, he'll give our descriptions to the first sheriff's posse that gets here. And get rid of the plane. You've probably smeared your fingerprints all over it. Hurry up! Car 65, car 65, Cover Hill Junction on road 105. Car 70, go to Andrews, cut off. That is a description of Lewis Brothers, but another man, possibly two, believed implicated in robbery. No description of them as available as yet. That's the last open road out of here. We'll have to pick a spot and crash through. That's just what those cops have been waiting for. Well, where to? Back to the cabin. By the time they search these hills, we'll have found a way to slip through. to investigate. Oh, here, here now. Keep your chin up. Those crooks wouldn't go that far. We'll find Tommy. But I wish the officers had a description of the men with Mike and Whitey. It would certainly help. Skeeter. Hmm? You. What time is it? It's almost six o'clock. Any news? No, no, not a word all night. The sheriff thinks the gang must have slipped through the net last night. Yeah, maybe so. Well, I'm going up again. I can see now. Oh, Skeeter, you're all in. Well, you were flying most of the day yesterday. And you've been awake all night. I'm all right. But if they did slip through the blockade... Well, don't worry. They didn't take Tommy with him. Oh, you, you don't think they... Listen, Tommy's the only one who can put a finger on those crooks, and until we get them or find Tommy, anything can happen.
Well, by tonight, those coppers ought to be sick enough of their jobs to ease off, and we can slip through. How about that eagle and the kid? Are they going with us? No, we leave them down in a cellar. Yeah, and they'll sing to the first copper that... They won't sing, not after we leave them. You think it'll fly? I don't know, kid. Pretty badly busted up, and we haven't got much to work with here. It's because you know a lot about fixing them things. Yeah. When I started fooling around with the kids at the field, I didn't think one of these little ships might be getting us out of a tough spot. Well, it got you into it. That and my dumb swell headed. Oh, forget it, Whitey. We all make mistakes. Then you do believe me, don't you? You know I wasn't trying to help them to frame you. Sure. How many times have I got to tell you? Well, somehow I just can't believe you think so. Not on the level, Tommy. Things look too bad again, me and... Oh, Kat, I tell you, I don't believe you. That's great. Now, I don't care what them thugs do to me. They're not going to do anything to either one of us if we can get this wing to hold together in the air for a couple of minutes. It's kind of wobbly. Yeah. But it'll hold, kid. Don't you worry for one minute. Now, all we got to do is to figure some way to get this thing in the air when we hear one of those patrol planes overhead. But how are we going to do it? I don't know yet, but I've got an idea. that whitey? Sure. All right, then I'll make enough noise so they won't hear the motor start. Cut that out down there. sees it, everything will be okay. He's going further away. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he didn't see it. Three point. Calling sheriff's office. Calling sheriff's office. Just spotted kids plane with smoke attachment. Must be Whitey Lewis's. It looks like signal for help. Four, car four four, move to Pine Mountain. Search for child's model airplane. Ship circling over exact location.
There it is. Hold it. There's a message on it. They were old bandits are in cabin. Hey, this is a description of the whole gang and their car. Better radio that in right now, Steve. Car 44 to headquarters. Car 44 to headquarters. All cars converge on cabin near Crest Road, one mile beyond Pine Flats. Well, kid, there's one more thing we might try. I'm game for anything. I know you are, Whitey. And I don't think they'd hurt you. Or I wouldn't take the chance. Oh, don't worry about me. But what about you? That's a chance we gotta take. We gotta get one of them down here. Hand me that club. Didn't I tell you to cut that out? Ask for some water. Give us some water! Pipe down! Williams, take that kid some water. And Dawson, remember, no matter what happens, that kid goes with us. All right, Mike. I guess it would be better if we took him along. Yeah, much better. Remember now, the minute he gets down here, you duck up the stairs. reward for what Whitey did to help catch those crooks and save all that money. Isn't it swell? You bet. But it's no more than you deserve. <laughs> you know, I understand the head of Whitey's school is going to organize a branch unit here, Scott. He says it'll spread to lots of other kids' schools all over the country, and they're going to make you a national commander. Ooh, General Tailspin Tommy Tompkins. <laughs> You'll be famous. Hey, cut the kidding. <laughs> Say, now, after all, wait a minute. I did help catch those crooks, you know. What do I get out of it? Here's your reward, Skeeter. Hey, wait a minute, Skeeter. Hey, come on, you kids. Time to get Flight 14 out of here. Okay. Come on. 